I'm Jeff Zavala, and I'm a filmmaker from Austin, Texas, I'm usually living in that world of the 2D. But when I heard about Monaverse and the ability to actually create three-dimensional immersive worlds for uh, interactive storytelling, that really set me on a path that <laughs> I didn't realize was even possible. And today we have a very special experience for y'all that was hand-built by none other than Benjamin Victor Garcia. He hand painted and hand built this entire terrain, you guys, an insane labor of love. But if y'all want to come into your right and go down the little pathway and you'll see there's a little amphitheater, live stream center. Our next stage of the Coralverse is gamification. The Coralverse virtual experience connects communities to a more profound appreciation of our underwater world through immersive storytelling. And the health of our oceans directly translates to the health of our whole society as well. The Coralverse itself is a persistent interconnected multiverse. The experience blends generative AI architecture and a love for the ocean. There's 25 Genesis estates, so each estate is a collectible world that we hand build for you based on the blueprint, the 2D blueprint. And so think about this as like having your own metaverse custom built based on like your brand, the things that you want to do in the metaverse. Now we're looking at gamifying. So our pitch for Artisan Fund is to create interactive experiences, points and reward systems, being able to earn NFTs that will then actually translate to real world ocean conservation where our partners like the Thousand Mermaids Project where they go and they have these beautiful mermaid sculptures that they go plant in the ocean and then put coral like all around it. What we're doing here is we're blending the interactive appeal of Minecraft with the environmental urgency of an inconvenient truth. The idea behind the project is it's free to play, to learn, to earn. So much here. We're calling it the Reef Revival. It's a gamified digital experience where players embark on quests to restore and protect virtual coral reefs through engaging activities like collecting plastics from the oceans. And so as plastics are cleaned from the ocean, the coral garden grows and the health of the ecosystem is restored. So this is a, a fun way to unlock funding for nonprofits that are doing the work to restore coral reefs in the real world. We're turning decentralized science into like this fun activity. So you can have fun and save the world too, you guys. <laughs> Let's go. The reef revival stands out by turning marine life education and real world environmental activism into an interactive adventure. It connects players with the ocean's beauty and its current plight in a way that both is fun and deeply engaging. Given the urgency of marine conservation and how important it is to focus on that, the Coralverse gamification offers a novel approach to spreading awareness and inspiring action. So our unique blend of expertise in Web3, gaming, and environmental education positions us perfectly to bring the Coralverse interactive experience to life. We have the passion and the dedication and the community support to make our vision into reality. As you can see, we've already built so much of the world already. And so now we're just looking at how we take this to the next level, always pushing the boundaries of what's next. And that's gonna be in the, in the gamification space. There's a picture of our team. We've got Benjamin Victor Garcia. He's an incredible builder. We've got Finn Staber from Chicken Waffle VR as our advisor. We're also looking to expand our partnerships, like for instance, with Coral Gardeners. You might've heard of them. They're really big. And um, we're just now starting the conversation with them. But the idea is also that you'd be able to unlock different experiences in the real world through playing the game. So let's say you clean up 5,000 metric tons of digital plastics from the ocean then you can claim your NFT that unlocks an experience with coral gardeners themselves, where you can go out on the ocean with them. They have this deep dive experience. You go out on the boat, they have a VIP experience, and it's so cool. On the screen now, we have a little preview of the actual uh, gamified experience where you can see the characters running around inside the, the, the hub over there. And right now we have it where you're able to shoot lasers and any piece of trash, like plastic bottles that you shoot, like turns into 
bubbles because you vaporize it and then you get 2000 points and then there's a scoreboard in the center where it accumulates all your points so you can see like we already are starting down that path of of actually getting the game to have some functionality there maybe we could open it up for questions or just roam around the jellyfish pagoda and uh, check out this incredible work that Benjamin has done over the course of like a year now, right? It's, it's been it's been crazy long that we've been going on working on this, but yeah. But yeah, absolutely incredible work, Z. It's amazing to see how much this project has developed since its like initial inception in the grants program last year, and I'm just so excited for how it will continue to develop. You got an all-star team, and I think that being able to connect these very fun and interactive experiences online to real world problems is so valuable. And it looks like you just got a vote from Nene. Let's oh, I go. did? Oh, shit. <laughs> Creatress, welcome to the stage. I came to say uh, congrats to Z Creative. I remember, like, I, I don't know how long it's been since you first, uh, when you first started the Coralverse, but I remember being at that opening um, or that Twitter space, maybe it was something like a hybrid like today. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to hear all the, the updates and the real world uh, implications of this. Like, congrats, seriously, looking amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm excited to play the game. I've been trying to get more into gaming as a shared interest with my son, because he's really into gaming. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to see it. Yeah, we're really doing this for the kids, you guys, because like they're they're growing up inheriting this world, too. So the more we can get them thinking about ocean conservation, the better. Running around this space, it feels real, like especially the, the campground areas, you know, around the edges. This is a massive world, you guys. Yes, I love the power jumps, too. They're perfect. This is amazing. It power others spread positivity and use your imagination to create weapons of mass construction. That's so fantastic. So uh, that's what you're doing. Z. That's what you're doing. You're you're really working hard. I, I've seen your progress one step after another after another. You never missed a workshop. You never missed a community call. You're always learning, always developing in all other aspects, not just the building itself, but the media and the management and the production. It's such a huge effort, and I just want to say thank you for it. That is so nice, uh, Moody. I really appreciate you, brother. I love that <laughs> weapons of mass construction. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, this is just, this is inspiring me to just really use art and our gifts and our skills to, to solve issues that truly do exist. And there's so many, and the world is so big, and your like day-to-day -day problems become so minuscule when, when you step back and realize like, oh my gosh, all of this is still happening in the world. Um, and I have the power and the privilege in, in this life to make a change. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing here. Z, thank you for always being such an amazing leader and inspiration to us in Web3 and beyond. It's always a pleasure connecting with you and, and learning more about what you're up to. I've seen you from photography to videography and now creating 3D environments and immersive worlds and solving real world problems in the midst of all of that. An amazing creator. If you're not following Z already, make sure you follow him. Um, but yes, thank you, Z. Any last words from you before we shift into Origin Stories Project? Just thank you so much. And I'm really excited to hear about Origin Stories Project. We were going to have a meeting about building worlds together. So everything's connected. Yeah, I was being silent because I'm so excited about the fact that I got to hear you present first. It's really cool. Thanks, brother. 